Welcome back guys to another exciting episode where I'm currently going through all the water blocks that I've made thus far. This time I have a water block which has nothing to do with thermoelectric cooling. Well, I guess you could say it does because I used it with my uh, TEC chiller. But it is just a normal water block. Now this had two designs. One where the water came down the center and then went in a spiral from the center to the out. The person that originally got this block, based on his testing, he seemed to think that that didn't work too well. And to be fair, I just did it off the top of my head without any thermal testing. So I went back to the drawing board and came up with this design where water comes in the center and then goes to the edges. Now the block is obviously more restrictive in the center than the outside because there's more passages as it goes further out. Now I built up a simulation of the DTEC block and I compared it to my new block and my new block worked better than the DTEC. I do believe the large part of the reason for that is because my block is so huge and that's how I've achieved equal to or better cooling. The covers are made out of two layers of acrylic, uh, giving me two barbs, one in the center and the out in the bottom right hand corner. And there's a passageway taking all the outs from the outside of the block and sending it off to my out barb. And as I said before, this is what I used in my uh, water, water chiller project. And here it is lit. Looks pretty good. I've always quite liked this block. I like the design I did on it. But that's just me. Thanks guys. Bye.